Hello, my name is Keshwani. S K E S H W A N I. Keshwani. We are here because we want to prepare for GRE. We have been solving math problems out of this book here, the GRE Official Guide, fourth edition. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. Today, we'll do a problem, problem number four, that you will find on page number. 196. Always make sure that the book is in front of you. Here's the problem. It's a very straightforward problem. It says which of the following could be the unit digits of 57 raised to 7. 57, 57 raised to n rather. 57 raised to n. 57 raised to uh, 7 would end up in a... Oh, we'll worry about it in a second. Uh, 57 raised to n. Here are the answer choices. In these questions there are more than one right answer choices. There are sometimes three, four, five, even seven right answer choices. Here we are given ten choices all the way from zero through nine and our job is to mark all the ones that are correct. Let's begin, shall we? Which of the, well, well, which of the following could be the unit digits of 57 raised to 1? Well, 57 raised to, 57 raised to n rather. 57 raised to 1 obviously will end in a 7. So that works. If you multiply 57 by 57 again, we get 57 raised to 2. And what do you suppose 57 raised to 2 will end in? It will end in 9 because 7 times 7 is 49. We are only interested in unit digit. 57 raised to 2 will end in a 9. I'm, I'm going to make it a little bit more clear. Will end in 7. Similarly this will end in a 9. And we keep on going. So 9 works. Let's do multiply it by 57 one more time. So don't forget that this ends in a 9. This ends in a 9. And you multiply whatever this quantity. We're not interested in what 57 times 57 is. Don't waste your time with that. Whatever that is, if it ends in a 9, you multiply again by 57, 9 7 is a 63. It's going to end in a 3. That works. Multiply 57 one more time. 57 times whatever this quantity is, this is 57 cube. What we're looking at here is 57 cube. Again, what 57 cube exactly is, as I said just now, we're not interested in it. We're only interested in the fact that whatever the bloody hell it is, it ends in a 3. And if it ends in a 3, any number that ends in a 3, if you multiply by 57, any number, doesn't matter what that number is, any number that has a unit digit of 3, if you multiply that thing by 57, the unit digit is going to be 3 times 7, which is 1. That works. And once we get 1, once we get to 1, what do you suppose is going to happen next? Well, the cycle starts all over again. Because you multiply that, multiply that by 57 again, you're back to 7. We are back to 7, which is where we started our journey. And this pattern, this pattern will go on forever. So we have a, we have a one. This is all wrong. That's seven. That's nine. That's three. And this was one. There we go. We have four answer choices. One, three, nine, and seven. That's correct. There we go. And the cycle will start all over again. It will con continue in this, in this pattern. 7931, 7931, 7931, and so on and so forth. That's all. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now. Make sure you mark all the answer choices in the exam. As I said, I'm repeating one more time like a parrot. The correct answer choices are here are B, D, H, and J. Bye now.